buggy races are back. For over 71 years, thousands of people gather here in Southwest Florida to cheer on buggy drivers as they compete for top honors while cruising through the mud. Absolutely. The fun begins tomorrow. Shari is there right now checking it out. And Shari, I think the people who know you well pretty much associate you with swamp buggies. <laughs> so this is a natural fit. Of course. <sighs> Of course, I do this every weekend. That's actually why I have this helmet, because who else would it belong to? OK, people who really know me know that this isn't my thing. But let me tell you, I am loving being out here at the Florida Sports Park. This helmet actually belongs to this young lady, Charity. Now, we probably think swamp buggy races and a bunch of guys and kudos to the guys, but there's actually a lot of girl power that goes down here, right, Charity? Yes, ma'am. Talk to me a little bit about this baby here, 59 Thunder 59. Yes, this is a new rebuild, brand new. We built it in 36 days. The old frame was rotted and it was not safe anymore. So I bit the bullet and did it again. And how long have you been racing? Since 1992. Wow. I started out in the four cylinder class, went to the six cylinder and ended up in the Sportsman V8. Sweet. And for people who don't know, talk to me about what it's like being out on, on that track. To me, it looks a little scary. What are you feeling when you're out there? It's a little anxiety, but a lot of, you know, I don't know, build up fun, basically. You know, you, you, all your work is coming down to this last minute, you know, and time will tell. The track is either going to make you or break you. Sweet. I am super inspired by you, Charity, and Southwest Florida. Let me show you who else I'm inspired by. We are here with the 2019 Swamp Buggy Queen herself, Miss Courtney. And Courtney, what does it take to be the Swamp Buggy Queen? Like, if I might be potentially interested, what would I have to do? We actually went through a pageant starting from January until March, and it was an entire pageant and all the work leading up for it for three months. So it was a lot of hard work and dedication. And I know that one of the questions they asked you was, how many women are on the board for Swamp Buggy races? What's the answer? There are three women out of 10 on the Swamp Buggy board. Oh my gosh, so much girl power. Speaking of girl power, we have Jessica here, who is one of the one of those women that Courtney was talking about. And Jessica, for people who have never come out to the Swamp Buggy races, why do they need to come out this year? Oh my gosh, you've got to come out and see all of our buggies. We, everyone's worked so hard. We've got a couple of new drivers out that have just going to be hitting the track. We had one just hit the track this morning. Um, it's a Florida tradition. You can only see it here. There's nowhere else in the world that you can see these run. And it's so exciting. You just get so filled with excitement. You can see it right here as in Naples, as in Southwest Florida. So if you want to catch the 2019 Swamp Buggy Races, guys, we got that information for you on Fox4Now.com. We're hanging out here at the Florida Sports Park with all the girl power and the guys are here too. I got to point that out. Sending it back to you guys. Shari Armstrong, Fox 4 Morning News. That looks like a lot of fun. It does. It does. It, the splash was a lot bigger than I was expecting. Really big. That's why I said it's okay maybe if Shari doesn't do it. No. Nope. We don't. She want would to be so swampy. No. I would consider myself pretty adventurous, but I don't know if I'd want to do it. Get in there, Shari. And that's yeah, not us. She needs We're not to get hating in there. on people who do do it either, because that's awesome. More power to you. Yeah.